Japan and Bangladesh are two countries that have one of the strongest social and economic relations among other partnerships. This, however, has often been overlooked, and people think that there is little connection between the two. But Japan is a renowned economic ally to most Asian countries, but is more so in the nation of Bangladesh. From 1972, a year after its independence, to 2020, Japan has collectively provided financial support of about 24.71 billion US dollars, either as aid, loans, grants, technical assistance, and so on. At the same time, in 2020, Bangladesh became the largest recipient of Japan's Official Development Assistance, or ODA, an amount that is estimated to be $2.6 billion, which also makes Japan the single largest development partner at that year and only behind an institution called World Bank by a small margin. Moreover, a report published by the Japanese International Cooperation Agency, or JICA, stated that the land of the rising sun has assisted hundreds of major projects around the country of Bangladesh. These range from the transportation system such as the Dhaka Mass Rapid Transit Transit Development Plan and Bangladesh Subway Project, to energy generating schemes such as the Matabari Power Plant and urban developments in helping advance digital Bangladesh to even improving the overall private sector by direct investments. So why did Japan choose Bangladesh as its hottest economic partnership and investment destination? Before we move on, don't forget to leave us a like and subscribe for more videos. Just a year after the independence of Bangladesh, Japan established diplomatic relations between the two. By 1973, Japan extended various programs that would initially help the small economy by sending over volunteers. A year later, established an office for its cooperation agency, JICA, and sent its first ever ODA loan. Fast forward to the 1990s, Japan and Bangladesh have established a one-of-a-kind relationship that helped Bangladesh's economy grow. This is through rigorous investments, trades, and further infrastructure development assistance. By 1992, Japan officially became a leading partner in terms of ODAs, which continues up to today. The entrance of the 21st century, on the other hand, was the century when Japan had leveled up its investments. In the years leading up to 2014, JICA has assisted energy projects after energy projects, and these JICA-backed schemes would eventually power 25% of the entire total power generation of the nation. These are likewise seen in other sectors such as transportation, urban and rural developments, education, and health systems, and eventually placing assistance in the majority of the country's various sectors. And these are actually being thought of as real pure quality and kindness from the Japanese, as it aims to tackle the challenges of the land and increase the economy, as it is because back then that these are often thought of as pure commercial interests. Today, we can see the relentless approach of the Japanese people. During the COVID-19 pandemic, which saw immense economic breakdown, Japan has been a leading figure by sending medical equipment and vaccines, budget supports, and other cooperations. Furthermore, the Japanese ambassador, Ito Naoki, stated that Japan is looking to invest a lot more into Bangladesh as soon as the pandemic ends. One example where these funds may go is the upcoming Narayangad Economic Zone, which will see Japanese factories flourishing within the establishment and be a central manufacturing hub for vehicles, electronics, and mobile phones. These have the potential to become an investment hotbed worth around $1 billion from Japan and see 100,000 jobs be created. And the future of both countries has a long way to go. There are currently several initiatives that are bringing the two countries closer, such as the Look East initiative that aims to help Bangladesh grow closer to the Eastern Asian nations. The Bay of Bengal Industrial Growth, or Big B, which was initiated way back in 2014, by then Prime Minister Shinzo Abe and Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina on accelerating the development of Dhaka, Chittagong, Cox Bazaar Belt through various programs, which aims to fully transform the country to become South Asia's industrial hub. These and the so-called private enterprises have aided the country. Today, over 300 Japanese companies are operating in Bangladesh, which is triple that of 10 years ago, and we expect this to grow further. And these companies have become a source of improving the technological advancement of the nation. What stands out, however, is the continuous support of Japan's public and private sector in helping transition the very lives of the Bangladesh society to the next wave of life in the digital world.